everybody, welcome back to A Slice of Gaming. I am the only Pie in the Rune 4, and you are watching The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo. So, we're finally going to do some plot things and get our very first dungeon done and over with. And, of course, the very first room we walk into is the room that leads to absolutely nowhere. So, let's check out our other option here. Aw, oh, man, this is so... Such an exciting room, I loved it so much that I wish I was there all over again. But the real passage is hidden underneath the pot here. First thing that tells you about the game is that there's going to be lots of different puzzles, especially in these dungeons, of course. And lots of hidden switches all over the place. And that's going to be pretty much the theme of all the dungeons forever and ever, just hidden things all over the place. And of course, the main part is to get that wonderful item that we're going to be using for the rest of the time, too. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was close. Make sure we don't, of course, I was just going to say, make sure we don't get hit by that, but first thing we do, of course, is to get hit by it. Because why would we not want to be hit by it? But we can go one of two options here. We can go straight ahead or we can travel to the left-hand side here and go across. Let's go that way first since I'm heading in that general direction anyways so we can get ourselves a nice chest here and of course money. Gotta get all the money that we can naturally. We'll be spending lots of it soon. So you can head back right away if you want to but might as well take the easy way around here and go straight up here so that way we can keep on going the proper direction hidden in this first room here. Of course we have one of the switches hidden right there. But let's take a look at the other side here and see if we can get a good look of what's happening down below. There we go. That wonderful big chest there is the first thing that we want to get. In that chest contains our ultimate super item that we have to get. This is going to be very, very useful for the rest of the game. And of course, naturally, just like most other Legend of Zelda games, it's going to help us beat the boss in the end, too. So it's kind of, uh, you know, one of those things that you really don't want to miss. Like, at all. There is one, actually, dungeon item you can miss permanently, and you're pretty much stuck without it. And I'll reveal what that is as soon as we get there, but right now we really don't need to get into that right now. So, something secret hidden in here. Suddenly there's monsters! Secret hidden monsters. Sometimes hidden amongst the bones, I suppose. Oh, I missed that one. I missed my one dollar. And of course, Evil Pot destroys all, so we might as well use it to our advantage. Get our chest here. For the compass, we can now pinpoint the lair of the dungeon's evil master. So, if we take a look at our... not our map. Our, our map. That's, that's also not our map. Here we go. The flashing skull there is where our monster is, and the little orange square at the bottom of the first floor is the treasure chest that we saw earlier. So, that's the direction we're heading for right now here. We don't have the key, unfortunately, to open that guy up, but... We can also get some advice from these things. Link, this I, Sarah Shabrabunua. I can talk to you te telepathically when you touch these tiles. Here is a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in the palace to defeat the armored foes. Or I could, you know, use my sword and take 500 years. One of the two, really. Looks like I can't go this direction. I have to come from above and not from below. So this is the room that where we saw the big treasure chest there, and as I already mentioned, we don't have a way to open it right now, but we can inspect it anyways. It's locked. If you have the big key, you might be able to open it. Maybe. You know, you never know. And there's a little hidden secret here that I actually didn't know about until I recently replayed the game here. You can enter in these pots, which has little fairies inside, so in case you need to stock up on another fairy... Do I have fairies in both bottles? I don't, and that's probably something that I should take care of right now. Let's equip this thing here. I don't want to take it by accident. Here we go. Shove you in the bottle, which I'm sure you appreciate so much. So just in case you need that, there's uh, some free healing for you, which we're probably going to take advantage of quite a bit here. Get out of here. Don't, don't 
don't get anywhere near me. These guys here, we can't beat them yet until we get the super awesome item in that chest there, so we're not even gonna bother messing with those things right now. Instead, we're just gonna com continue on our merry little way here and find some other things we can do. Let's talk to you. It's best just to go all the way around for this, just so that you don't hit those skull things that are chasing me. The more damage you can avoid, naturally, the better. So our ultimate weapon here, the pots, kill all of these things. Is there anything even in this room? Ah, here we go. Our first small key that we can use to open the door that we just passed by not too long ago, so we might as well go do that now. Where are those things? We have to go all the way around here again. Open up this door and see what's inside. Oh, we can go across here now. Make our merry little way here. Not get hit by the balls for sure. And I think those things will split up as soon as we get remotely close to it here. Oh, and of course that thing. Can't beat that thing still. And right here, that's where I believe our boss is hidden, actually. Oh no, that's just the way back up. I thought that was where the boss is. We might be able to destroy that thing with a pot, actually. I mean, it is our ultimate weapon, after all. Oh, of course I had to drop it. That thing also takes quite a bit of damage from me. It takes a whole full heart. Did I also paralyze that thing with a boomerang? I can't really remember, but I suppose we'll try. I can destroy him with a boomerang, though. Just two hits with that, I think. No more than that. There we go. Oh, I can maybe use my bombs, too. Destroy evil thing. Evil thing that follows you around. Let's take our ultimate weapon here. Get ourselves ready, make sure we aim it correctly. Because I already lost one here. Yes, I can destroy that thing with a pot. It does break loose after we touch it there. So, when you do touch those uh, things that are moving around here, as you can tell, I lost a little bit of my magic. Sweet, the big key. So of course, naturally, the first thing that we're going to be using this big key on is not only this shortcut here, get out of the way, everything, but for that awesome, amazing chest that we came across earlier so we can get our super awesome ultimate thing. And of course, now that we're back over here, we can use these pots here. Might as well just do this now. Get ourselves some healing after we ran into those... I don't know, Jinx, I think those things are called a few times. Somebody can probably correct me if I'm wrong, which I'm pretty sure I am. And here is the ultimate thing. What is it? It's the bow. We can shoot arrows until we run out of them. And I wholly also recommend you don't run out of them because we're going to need them as much as possible. Uh, was there anything that I did not explore in this area? Oh, there's a few places, actually. I didn't end up going straight across. Which, oh, it's on the top there, so I might as well just go do that, I suppose. Now, what's the quickest way to get up there? Would that just be to go across here, I suppose? You gotta explore everything. You gotta get all your options, because you never know when there's like a hidden room full of money. I know in some of the other Zelda games, there's definitely that in there, for sure. I suppose I can't just jump down, can I? I think I went around this the longest way possible, which is not where I wanted to go at all, but oh well, I suppose we can go for a little bit of a loop. I mean, we really don't have to check it out, but it's me, and I just wanted to explore absolutely everything, because like I said, room full of money. It's like the best thing. What's the best way to get over here, or get down there? Would that be to go back the way I came? I suppose. We could do that, I guess. This is all just to explore one room that we really don't need to go to at all. Yeah, I suppose going this way would probably be the best. Going up and around. I don't know, I just want that room full of money. And then this is, of course... Oh, I should have saved that for my guys that are going to be popping out of nowhere anytime soon here. There they are. Take a while to come in here. It's like, where were you guys? We were, I was just waiting for you. Sitting around, just wanting to hurl pots right in your face, and 
which is not fair. We could also use our arrows at this point to defeat these things a little bit faster, but as I mentioned before, you want to save as many as possible because the only way to beat the boss is with arrows, and if you're like me and have the absolute worst shot in the face of the planet, you're going to need all of them. Alright, now we're finally back over here. I suppose I should have went this way to begin with, but oh well. Now we're going this way anyways. There we are. Let's do some exploring. So we have a door here and then a door down, so we're closest to here, so we might as well just go this way for now. Oh, a chest. I do want that for sure. I think there's a secret down here. I might be thinking of something else, though. Yeah, I'm thinking of another place where that's definitely an area you can go to. Alright, let's hit the upper zone here. Get out of my way. Nobody wants you. Nobody wants to pay any attention to you. At least I sure don't. Does this one have monsters that go in slowly or it's just the hidden switch? The hidden switch it looks like. Let's get the treasure. Oh, it's the map, of course. So, if we didn't explore absolutely everything already, we could see the places where we haven't been to yet, so... The one place we gotta go is where those barrels were before. Or the pots, rather. Not barrels. So, let's head in that direction now, might as well. Now that we actually have everything here. Excuse me. Out of the way. Now the good thing is, is that we can just easily get to where we need to be without any... without too terribly much hassle and puzzle solving we know exactly where we're going at least this time around. For a while, anyways. Oh, the only thing is, is that this room here just takes 500 years for it to do anything. Just sitting here, holding the pot, waiting for things to happen. Come on. Do I have to break a few pots in order for things to happen? Or this, just this middle one? Do I have to break several pots? Break all the pots. There we go. I don't remember that ever taking so long, but maybe it's just something that I have to do to activate it, I suppose. It's not gonna always fill me in on that. Is it something I have to be doing in particular? Maybe it's just that one pot you have to throw and break. I don't know. Either way, let's go back to where we're going here. Don't need any refill on my hearts because I'm good to go on that anyways. As long as I don't run into something in the next two seconds, which, knowing me, I probably would have. Gotta watch out for this. For all of this. So, first things first. Let's just light up this area here and see what, what on earth we're dealing with. We're dealing with those stupid eyeball things that I don't like. Oh yeah, you wanna come this way? Oh, I missed. Yeah, come up. I dare you. Oh, I missed again? Oh, that means you're gonna have to use this. See, like I said before, unless you have a shot that's as terrible as mine, then you're going to need that. As many as you need. I'm a little bit upset that I had to use two whole arrows, which I know is not too heartbreaking for anybody else, but for me it's just like a matter of life or death. There we go. There's a key. Let's take this path first, why not? Ah, there's my room full of money. I knew you were here somewhere. It's too bad I can't just boomerang all of them. Except I think I actually have to, like, touch all of them. I can't even boomerang any of them. Watch out for the skull things. Don't take any of my magic, even though you just did. It's unfortunate, but I suppose we can just blow by everything that's in here. If anything's still alive. Nope, doesn't look that way. Next spot. Oh good, we get to refill on our arrows. And hearts. As long as I don't touch anything, we should be okay. Oh good, I thought I was going to touch that at the last... Oh good. Last second. We're going to need at least one arrow for this thing. Push it on the face. Don't you dare trap me. Oh, I guess I can just... Get rid of this thing now. Oop, oop, nope. Oh, now for this. Be very careful. 
push the switch when you have a free moment, and unfortunately some of them are fake. Why is everything trying to just murder me? Like, you go into somebody's house and, hey, I just want you to, you know, come inside, have a free... have a free drink, but you have to get past all of this crap to get there. Almost done the dungeon, though. That's always nice. That place where this lovely thing is blocking us. The eyeball, I see you. Is it the one thing that stands in our way other than this thing that I keep hitting with my boomerang? Alright, ultimate weapon. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it doesn't work on him. Of course, he's colored red, therefore, pots aren't his greatest weakness. The only thing that is his greatest weakness? Being shot right in the face if I were an archer. If I were the better archer. There we go. Alright, let's fight a boss, shall we? Oh, not yet. Not until we get past all of this. It's like, oh, you want to fight a boss? No. You're not fighting anything. Are you going to stay... Are you going to freak out over there? Are you going to cause me some problems? That's just a sneak up on this thing. Open your face. Thank you. Open your giant eye. Oh, really? Really? I call that hitting him. I got ripped off. There we go. Now for you. Load up on my arrows before we go inside. Now we fight a boss for real this time. Armos! These things have been in many, 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 many games. Am I just being curb stomped here? Okay, I thought I was just being trapped in the corner over and over again. However, they sort of refine some things in the other Zelda games where you just have to use your bombs to beat them instead of your arrows, which is kind of nice in a sense because arrows come in only limited amount of supply. And as I mentioned before, you want to make your hits count, preferably. Having them not count can be a terrible thing. Oh, that was a lucky shot. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. Right now, I am showing you a terrible example of making your shots count. Wow. Wow, really? I wish I could take those arrows off the wall and just sort of... I think you can swipe your sword at this guy, too. Nope. Why are you trying to crush me? I just want to kill you. That's all I really wanted. There we go. I only have two arrows left, so I hope... I hope I can hit this thing with my sword, because I don't know if one more arrow will- Oh! Wow! Just enough arrows! Lesson learned today. Don't play like I do. It'll be the worst. You won the Pendant of Courage! Take it to Sarah Shabalaba. Two pendant remain! Sweet. Right then. So, if we had some arrows left, we could actually use them to defeat the Armos, the mini guys, beside uh, the temple up there. But, let's just try to avoid everything because why bother getting into fights that we don't really need to get into? House is down here, so let's uh, talk to him here. Hey, person, I found a thing. Oh, you got the pendant of courage. Now I will tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago, the Order of Knights protected the royalty of Hyrule. These Knights of Hyrule were also the guardians of the Pendants of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the Great War against evil that took place when the Seven Wise Men created their seal. Among the descendants of the Knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see, Link. I believe you. You should get the remaining pendants, and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by my fam by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. Five million dollars. Good enough. A helpful item is hidden in the cave east side of Lake Hylia. Get it! We got that way before we really should have. So... Once we go outside here, let's take a look at our map and see where we need to go next. Nice! 
next spot is all the way down here. So that's where I'm going to be heading towards next, guys. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again next time.